Hi, I'm Phil Allen with Grace Engineer Products. How are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You're, I'm the Safety and Field Operations Manager for Shaw Electric. Uh, do job site audits, uh, training, that sort of thing. Make sure the guys are safe and also help out with manpower. And we're, we've been in here talking about temp covers and how temp covers you know, save you time and and operate within the framework of, in, in Iowa we have the state OSHA, so um, operate within the framework of OSHA, and can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, Iowa OSHA is a little bit different uh, than federal OSHA. Iowa OSHA also covers all uh, public or governmental employees uh, is the main difference in Iowa. Uh, here in particular, uh, IOSH has taken a particular interest in the temp covers and it, it all around, revolves around the new uh, 70E and you know, energized work and, and so the temp covers can help in that regard. Uh, if an, an electrician has to leave for a few moments, he can, he can use the temp cover in, in limited circumstances and, and still uh, provide safety in a, in a proper cover while he's gone for those few minutes in, in a secure environment. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about using temp cover in a, the, a, a restricted area versus a, an open area in a construction. Type. Okay, and what we would train our employees in our regard, the apprentices, the, the ones who are just starting the trade and have very little experience with the electrical, uh, we, we of course train them with the, about the hazards, what they're concerned with, uh, knowing whether something's energized or not energized. Uh, with the temp covers, the concern is if it's out just in the open, anybody, people are curious. They want to come up, they want to see, well, what's behind there, that bump it or something like that, and in work environment, in an open area, uh, a lot of other trades, a lot of other contractors can come around and, and not know what's there and want to see what's behind it, or they're always wanting power. And so in a secure environment, you don't have those concerns. Uh, the person who is using temp cover is an authorized employee, in other words he's capable, he's trained, knows the hazards and has the proper protection to do energized work. He's using it as a tool in a limited situation uh, in a restricted environment where he has control of who enters the room and so he knows whoever enters that room is going to be such a, a authorized and qualified employee. For, a, for a, a, a panel that's in the open in a construction environment, can you talk a little bit about how you would set up the restricted, because with using temp covers you still have to maintain your restricted area, yeah. and talk a little bit about how you would do that in terms of like, it's got to be outside the arc flash protection boundary, but then in addition to that, you have to understand what the other trades are doing and, and, and it's got to be big enough so that it's it's safe for what's going on. Yeah, so most, most definitely. 70E and, and OSHA both specify energized work, a, a flash protection boundary, which means outside of such, if there would be an arc flash explosion, the most a person would be subjected to would be a first degree burn. Inside that boundary, a person could receive a second or third degree burn, in other words, a serious injury, possibly life threatening. And that arc flash boundary is typically four foot, depending upon the voltage that you're dealing with. And we're typically dealing with what is called low or medium voltage, uh, 50 volts to ground up to less than 600 volts. What we like to see our employees do, and, and OSHA and NFPA 70 both require a, a physical barricade or something to keep people from the area once you take off of proper guarded electrical equipment. Uh, we use danger tape, we use a standby person who stands outside that arc flash protection because anyone who goes inside that boundary then is supposed to be properly suited. Uh, they have the arc flash uh, shield, they have the clothing and the gloves so if an arc flash situation would occur, they're not going to receive those burns. The concern with out in a non-secured or non-restricted area is keeping people out of the area. We actually ask and require our electricians whenever possible to get a 10-foot distance from the unguarded open service from that uh, electrical panel or motor control center, whatever it may be. Right. So a, a fellow carrying a 10-foot ladder or, or something like that would happen to turn and either put himself at risk 
because of the conductivity of whatever he's carrying or by actually pushing or distracting our electrician into that energized equipment. Right. Uh, talk a little bit about the standby person in the OSHA 2007 letter of interpretation. Um, it says that it meets the requirements of the restricted area. So if you have a panel cover off in an open area and you have temp covers, you no longer need the standby person in that area as long as your restricted area is considered a safe distance, correct? We still want the standby person okay. there for two reasons. And, and it involves, if there is an emergency, if an arc flash would occur, the standby person is to initiate emergency action procedures, whether it be to call emergency services. Uh, a standby person should always know where the electrical disconnect is. Uh, know for a state procedure, so if something happens, they can shut the power off, they can call 911, they can get the person out of the area. We're talking a, a serious situation, uh, no different than permit require confined space or any other very hazardous type of work. So the standby person is, is the buddy if, when you're working yes. online. The standby person is the buddy person. But in the case of where the, Thanks, the, the, electric, the qualified worker is away from the area and there's a temp panel on there and the restricted area is, is a safe enough distance, um, if, if you have the panel cover off, you need a standby person there to just guard Correct. the... Correct. Guard the... the I, I see your question. Now, yes, if, if the uh, temp cover is, is on according to the directions and a restricted area, then no, you would not need your standby person. Your standby person is either there to guard in case the electrical equipment is, is unguarded right. or when a person is actually performing work that as their backup. Right. Hey, thanks, Dan. Appreciate Thank you. your time and uh, appreciate all you guys do. And by the way, Temp, up, uh, Shaw Electric did all the wiring for our brand new facility, our, our remodeled facility over the past two years, and they did a great job. So we appreciate Shaw Electric. We're glad to hear that. Thank you.